Hello students, in the last section we were dealing with the standing waves or stationary waves and we discussed about nodes and anti nodes. We will come to nodes and anti nodes later again. <coughs> now, we are going to see how to get the expression for the displacement of a standing wave or a stationary wave that is analytical treatment of stationary wave. So, we will derive the expression for the displacement of a stationary wave and from that expression we will find the condition for positions of nodes and positions of anti nodes. Okay. So, this is actually a standing wave or a stationary wave. So, for the wave propagates along the positive x axis, we can write the equation as y 1 is equal to a sin omega t minus k x, y 1 is equal to a sin omega t minus k x. This is along positive x direction. And how will I represent a wave which is travelling along the negative x direction? Y 2 is equal to A sin omega t plus k x. This is along negative x direction. When they superimpose. you will be getting the resultant amplitude as y is equal to y 1 plus y 2. So, this is the resultant displacement not the amplitude it is the resultant displacement resultant displacement y is equal to y 1 plus y 2. So, y is equal to a sin omega t minus k x plus a sin omega t plus k x. Here a is common, so I take a outside sin omega t minus k x and sin omega t plus k x. I will write plus first. Now, this is of the form sin a plus b plus sin a minus b. So, there is a trigonometric formula sin a plus b plus sin a minus b can be written as 2 sin a cos b. 2 sin a cos b. You apply this over here a is omega t and uh, b is k x. So, apply this over there you will get y is equal to 2 a sin omega t cos k x. this is the function of time cos k x is a constant thing that is the x stands for the displacement omega t is the function of time. So, I will be writing 2 a cos k x this will give me the amplitude. So, the equation is 2 a cos k x sin omega t this 2 a cos k x will give me the amplitude and the amplitude will vary according to x. So, this is the expression that we studied in the last section. So, I told you we will be doing how we are getting this. So, the amplitude is 
this. I am writing the resultant amplitude A dash A dash is 2 A cos k x. Okay. Resultant, uh, resultant amplitude equation is A dash is equal to 2 A cos k x and resultant displacement equation is 2 A cos k x sin omega t. Now, from this we will get how to obtain the, we will study how to obtain the position for the nodes. I already told you nodes are the region of minimum displacement that means zero displacement. So, amplitude is zero. So, the nodes are formed when the amplitude is zero that means cos k x should be zero. So, I will be writing like this amplitude will be zero. at the points where cos k x is equal to 0. So, we know the value of uh, cos, cos k x should be 0. How can I say this one cos 90, cos 90 is 0, then cos 270 is 0, like that it goes. Uh, cos 0 is not 0, cos 0 is 1, cos 90 is 0, cos 270 is 0, etcetera, etcetera, etcetera. We can write uh, n plus 1 by 2. So, I will be writing like this that is k x is equal to n plus 1 by 2 pi. When you put n equal to 0, you will be getting pi by 2, that means cos 90, which is 0. You put n equal to 2 you will be getting uh, you put n equal to 1 you will be getting 3 pi by 2 that is 270 degree again cos 270 is 0 then you get n equal to 2 put n equal to 2 so 5 pi by 2 again the amplitude is 0 so on it goes that is what i wrote kx is equal to n plus 1 by 2 pi where n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, etcetera. Okay. Now, what is k? k is 2 pi by lambda, right? So, 2 pi by lambda into x k is 2 pi by lambda. So, 2 pi by lambda into x is equal to n plus 1 by 2 pi, n plus 1 by 2 pi. So, from there what is x? x is equal to pi and pi can be uh, cancelled. So, x is equal to n plus 1 by 2 into lambda by 2 or I will write x is equal to 2 n plus 1 lambda by 4. These are the positions 2 n plus 1 lambda by 4. These are the positions where the node is formed. Okay. And when you put n equal to 1, n equal to 0, you will get lambda by 4. n equal to 1, you will get 2 lambda by 4. 2 into 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 3, 3 lambda by 4. Then you put n equal to 2, you will be getting 5 lambda by 4. Then 7 lambda by 4, so on, so on it will continue. So, those are the points lambda by 4, 3 lambda by 4, 5 lambda by 4 etcetera etcetera etcetera. These are the points where the nodes are formed and this is the general condition for nodes. Now, we are going to discuss 
the position for anti nodes position for anti nodes anti nodes means the region for maximum displacement that means the amplitude will be maximum so the amplitude amplitude will have a maximum value of 2a when cos kx is equal to plus or minus 1 cos k x is equal to plus or minus 1. So, cos 0 can be 1, then cos 180 minus 1, then cos 360 1, so on it will continue. So, the value of k x that is k x is equal to n into pi, where n is 0, 1, 2, 3, etcetera. When I put n equal to 0, answer is 0. So, cos 0 is 1. When I put n equal to 1, pi. Pi means 180 degree. Cos 180 is minus 1. When I put n equal to 2, 2 pi. 2 pi means 360. Cos 360 is 1. So, this is the condition. And I put k equal to 2 pi by lambda. So, 2 pi by lambda into x is equal to n pi. I can cut pi and pi. So, x is equal to n lambda by 2. So, x is equal to n lambda by 2. This is the point where anti nodes are the formed. So, when n equal to 0, answer is 0. n is 1, it is lambda by 2 n is 2, it will be 2 lambda by 2 which is lambda, then n equal to 3, 3 lambda by 2. That means, you will be get, getting like this 0 lambda by 2, 2 lambda by 2, 3 lambda by 2, 4 lambda by 2 like that. And in all those positions, we will be getting anti nodes. So, this is the condition for the anti nodes. So, we derived the expression for the displacement and we found the position for the nodes and anti nodes. Now, just listen here, the distance between any two anti nodes, any two anti nodes will be lambda by 2, distance between any two anti nodes will be lambda by 2. Similarly, the distance between any two anti nodes sorry any two nodes this is any two anti nodes distance between any two anti nodes lambda by 2. Now, I am marking the distance between any two nodes that is also lambda by 2, but distance between a node and an anti node will be lambda by 4 distance between a node and an anti node will be lambda by 4. Two successive nodes, two successive anti nodes the distance is lambda by 2, two successive nodes the distance is lambda by 2, but between a node and an anti node the distance is lambda by 4. So, please keep that also in mind. We have already discussed about the nodes and anti nodes. So, we did not write the nodes. So, you can just uh, copy this, <coughs> uh, it is told how nodes are formed, anti nodes are formed. So, just copy this page, this we have already done in the derivation. So, uh, no need to copy any of the derivations, uh, you need to do only this page. Okay.